Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint. Wrapping up this 2019 E350 box truck, box van. It's a V10, super low mileage, under 10,000 miles, it's really clean. Came out of New York, it's going back to New York, and it is awesome. It's a 12 foot body. So, you know, we've talked about these things a lot over the years and talked about doing turnkey rigs. Um, we tried that, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the video, I know I've commented on it many times when guys ask. We, um, we tried to order one, basically just like this, um, and Ford kicked back the order. So to make a long story short, last year, uh, Ford sold out of the 2023 E-Series model year in October. The order banks were only open from the October 1st to the 31st, and they sold out the entire production year. So um, we had to cancel the order and basically abandon those plans, which sucks because we were excited, but it happens and it's out of our control. So uh, the order banks hopefully will open back up in October for the 2024 model year. So if you're considering one of these, you may want to reach out to your local Ford dealer or give me a shout and I can try to make a, get a deal going with my local Ford dealer who is usually willing to, to help any way they can. So uh, six inch lift on actually 33s. We went with the 285 70 17 on this one, keep the tires a little smaller. I think he originally didn't want to go to a six inch lift, so I had to kind of nudge him into the six inch lift. We compromise with the smaller tires. Front axle, stage two Dana 60, RSC upgrade, 456 gears, Detroit True Track, 14 and a half inch diameter rotors, all the stuff that comes with our stage three Dana 60. We recently changed it from a stage two with RSC to a stage three make it a little simpler crossover steering as usual single fox 2.0 got our front bumper fb002 on it loaded up with rigid lights a worn winch our agency six fair lead factor 55 thimble the uh, anderson plug and oba port the anderson plug um, just gives you direct battery access so you don't have to get under the hood if you want to jump somebody off or jump yourself off. You can do it right there. Just makes it easier. Swapped out the grill for a black one with our smoked amber LED marker lights. Has uh, bushwhacker flares. We did our short cab chassis steps. This thing is a V10 uh, it's a with the six speed, six R140 transmission. So we put the NP1128 FTKs behind that with 1350CV drive shafts front and rear. It is a flange T-case. We use those as flange or slip yoke depending on the wheelbase. Stock rear axles, Dana 70. We re-geared it to 456. I see some silicone hanging there. I'm gonna get that and trim it. Uh, single Fox 2.0 in the back and that's it. Oh, we made a custom rear bumper. Just a simple two by four steel bumper with a nice wide step getting in and out. Also, this rig did not have a hitch on it, so we made this super nice hitch. I think he plans on doing some towing with it, so that's gonna come in handy. A lot of these things don't come with hitches, which is kind of strange. Maybe it's an option, I don't know. That's it, there's another view of the hitch. So this thing's headed home tomorrow, and uh, yeah. Hope he enjoys it. Oh, Helwig front sway bar. I didn't mention that. So, got any questions, leave them in the comments. Shoot me an email, chris at ujoinoffroad.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already. I try to post daily shop updates. Have a good day. See you guys later.